question, White Belt Wednesday question was, why does it seem like it's harder to hold mount than side control? So the person who wrote the comment had said they had started going to mount, but when they get there, they're getting thrown off or they're getting put in guard and they felt better in side control. And I'd say that's a pretty common issue yeah. people have. Mount is definitely a skill. So holding, getting mount and holding, getting to mount cleanly and holding mount are two separate skills and they take time to develop. And as a white belt, I think it's harder for you to actually escape side control than it is to escape mount. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, especially as a white belt, I have to, once I get here, they get really excited and they start like trying to attack right away and they're like super high. And, and then bumped they over. get bumped. And then once they get bumped, they get, they get their arm strapped and then they get rolled over or they're just hanging out here and the legs are too wide and they're actually not putting any pressure down. Yep. And then like all the, all the escapes start working. So once you get to mount, you have to think about two things. One, if this guy's bucking all over the place and trying to do things to me, I just have to hold it and put him in, put him in the pressure cookers, like the old, the old, the old school terms that like you got to cook him a little yeah. bit. So while he's holding a freaking aspirin, he's like a white belt that he's just doing all kinds of crazy things. I'm gonna open up my legs and I'm gonna sprawl and I'm gonna cross my feet underneath his butt. And then I'm just here doing this drill. And I'm not letting Matt trap me and he starts getting inside my arms. He starts getting inside my arms. I'm gonna swim inside and control. If he starts to trap one arm, I just keep taking that arm out and controlling. Right? And then if I'm once, I get through that part. Now, I don't want to be down here. I want to start pushing Matt's arms up and coming up to this high mount and then eventually S mount if that's what I want to do or if I'm setting up a triangle, get to the triangle position. But I in mount, I either want to be low and sprawl, so I'm like in this airplane, uh, airplane big blanket situation. I'm like, uh, free falling, right? <laughs> or I want to be able to get here, control his arms, and he's getting nice and high here. Now, at this spot, because his hips are not below me anymore, it's really hard for him to like bump me off. And I should be low anyway, for either controlling an arm or getting deep in a choke. So it's all going to be about that that pin mm -hmm. to start and then that's going to come from you actually opening up your hips. Another thing too is like I feel like a lot of white belts are like pinch people in. Yeah, they want to squeeze them. They want to squeeze them in because it feels like you have more control. It's actually the opposite. You want to bring mm -hmm. your hips down into the diaphragm and then you're in like good position. Also, if you cross your feet underneath somebody's mount, there's like an extra step they need to take in order to escape. Mm -hmm. So then while they're doing your legs, you can either move up or like bail to knee and belly and come back, which is also a skill. It's like knowing it's like, okay, I'm about to get mm -hmm. rolled over escape. I need to concede and go to a lower control position, but stay on top instead of being put in half guard. Yeah. So being able to know when I'm going to windshield wiper in or out. Yeah. I think there's a mindset thing too. Like if you lay down real quick, it's in a lot of like, so, if I'm holding side control, let's say I'm holding like this, and something starts going wrong, I can like run all over the place and still be in side control. When actually, like, I had to, I had to change what I was doing. I wasn't, I was no. losing my position, but I can stay on top by just like running around or going to north south or switching my arms. Switching your base. I can do bigger, simpler motions to stay on top and not really suffer the consequences. But once I'm in mount, I have just like moving my knees around a little bit, yeah. moving my chest around a little bit, putting my arms a few places. And so, you know, doing this could be the thing that messes me up versus being like this. So it can be a little mistake. And so once mount starts going wrong and you're like, you know, if I'm here, my arm's getting trapped and I'm like, I don't have a lot left to change. Like if you pump me that way, if, you start, if I'm here and I get my arm trapped and I'm like, I have to know, I can't just jump off immediately. I have to know how to just do a little shift, yeah. a little put my head over here. So 
And if you want one little simple rule, anytime our noses line up and my, one of my arms is on him, maybe a collar grip, they trap my arm, my arm in, I'm just asking to get rolled. So just anytime one arm is hugging, one arm is grabbing, put your nose offline away from the side that can bump you. So if he wants to bump me now, I can just do the little adjustments to stay. Yeah. And that'd be the thing that get used to is realize mounts a lot of little adjustments where a side control, you can get away with a lot of big adjustments. You can, you can just jump up to the other side of the person. Also, not committing your hands to me until you're high, because once you're high mount, yeah. like you go high, I, it's a lot harder for me to trap your foot in order to roll you over. Mm -hmm. So that if you're down here and I trap your foot and I trap this, it's gonna be a lot easier for me to do an oop escape versus if your knees are high, I'm not gonna be able to catch this to get you over, so I'm gonna have to work on getting you low, then trap, then go. So you, again, just adding steps to the escape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, being either low and stable, and then or low to the hip, I mean. I have to undo the legs before I can try to escape. Or being, yeah, driving up and getting off into an angle. Because you're really just gonna be like, yeah. Just straight up, because like there isn't a lot I can do here either. Yeah. It's me getting up and then yep. shifting, whether you're attacking the arms or jokes, jokes, arm bars. So it just takes time, I think. Yeah. I don't think mouse. Some people, people usually don't get good at mouse, like brown belt. <laughs> but you can start working on it now.